Good evening, Draftaholics, and welcome to Draft Punks, the most ruthless draft channel on the internet. My name is Sam, known on the internet as Carmera, and I'm joined this week and every week by Adrian Walker. How are we doing, Adrian? Uh, we're doing very well. Uh, kind of breezy and kind of cold because uh, there's no roof. Oh, you must uh, have misheard me. We are we are ruthless, not roofless, Adrian. Oh, oh, okay. Well, oh, ro- the roof's back now. That's that's good to hear. <laughs> was, Why are we it, so ruthless today? Because we have not yet picked a Ruther. And if you have not yet picked a Ruther in Strixhaven Draft, you haven't lived. That I hear card it's good. is incredible. And everything that I want to be doing in a in a game of Draft. It's just... I've, I've drafted several multi-Ruther decks this week. And it just blows me away how that card is an uncommon. Like, you get to a certain stage of the game where you just start copying every spell oh come on arena that's why you're supposed to give me a ruth yeah give me we we organized segue. this we paid good money to bribe the arena developers to get the ruth in the first pack that's it cut off the cash flow send no, it away okay no more money to the arena devs uh i don't know how good this card is basic lands reveal them put them on the battlefield don't know yeah, I mean, I, there's a there's a pest summoning in here. I don't think you'd ever play the pay the four mana cost for this, but and in any other format, you'd never want this. But I think the Quandrix decks do actually want to go really big, and so I could I, I could see this being being quite good. I think I'm gonna take Master Symmetrist. Oh though. yeah, the Symmetrist. That's a this this card is very strong. Yeah, because it turns mm-hmm. out that pretty much every creature has like square stats yeah 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 it's not hard to give your whole team trample so yeah i don't know uh i don't know what, what's better there because i haven't had a chance to play with verdant card it's <laughs> 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 gone and i've lost the, the name already the one that you just saw oh you know verdant <laughs> card um okay. okay so we took a symmetrist and we got what like Professor of Zoomancy is probably oh no probably Hunt for Specimens is probably oh yeah do like Hunt for Specimens probably the best card to follow that up the question is do we want to take Heated Debate or Dust Speaker or Expressive Iteration and just kind of feel out what's open green green red in the the enemy pair set yeah so I mean if we take something like Heated Debate we're pretty much saying we're going to give up on on one of our two picks but uh i think it's really important to be able to find find the open lane in these drafts you get rewarded if you can find whichever college happens to be open i think i'm going to take heated debate yeah i could see that i like i like hunt but i think heated debate is uh is enough better that we'll take that okay well we've got more specimens there's also a mentor's guidance, which I do like quite a bit. There's also a cultivate, actually. Oh yeah, cultivate is fixing. Cultivate's very good in the in the Quandrix decks. Yeah, I can imagine. Interesting, and could also help us splash. So we could could potentially splash heated debate if we end up in Quandrix. That's true. Because um, teamer teamer is quite common. If you end up in Quandrix, it's pretty common to splash red um, for some removal spells, which is possibly what we should have done in our last video. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to grab the Cultivate. Uh, I like Cultivate here. Yeah, okay. I like it. Ooh, Grape Shot. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Quandrix Apprentice versus Igneous Inspiration. I guess this is, uh, this is where we sort of start to make a choice, right? <sighs> yeah. Wow, they're two of the two of the best uncommons in the set. Oh man, what are you what are you feeling? Do you have a do you have a, a preference? Just off of the numbers, like we have two green cards and a red card. If we take a blue green card, we sort of like go, yeah, we're we're doing Quandrix. But if we take a red card, we sort of keep ourselves open in like a a red white versus red blue place i don't know like i guess we're probably more inclined to play 
the red cards? I have no idea. Um, they're both removal spells, though, and that's good. Well, this isn't a removal spell. That isn't. But I, I see while I was pontificating, you made a decision. I, I have very low confidence in that. You would have seen a, uh, a pick of the week thing flash up on your screen just oh, now. Oh, that might have been you it. Taken there. Um, that's, a, that's a really tough pick. Uh, yeah, let me, let me know in the comments what you would have taken. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of good aggressive red cards, none of which we want. So I think I'm just going to grab a pop quiz and feel pretty good about taking the Quandrix Apprentice there. Do like um, pop quiz. I could see an argument for expanded anatomy, and maybe that's what we should take. Do like a good lesson. This is like the the classic decision of this format is do you take the learn card first or do you take the lesson card first? Um, and I think if this was a a summoning, if this was an elemental summoning or fractal summoning, I would take it. Um, but I think I like pop quiz a little more than expanded anatomy. Yeah. Well, wow, grip. That's hilarious. Get a grip, Adrian. <laughs> um... Is the Drake any good? It's certainly not bad. The question is, do we want to splash something like an Elemental Masterpiece? Yeah, because Elemental Masterpiece is good. Yeah. And I, I don't mind heading into a straight teamer direction. We've got we've got the Cultivate to help with fixing. We'll pick up some, some campuses. Some um, campi. <laughs> <laughs> is that the is that the meal that you make when you're out, out in a tent? Oh, a campi. Campi. <laughs> I like it. Okay, well. Okay. So there's a pillar drop warden, which is good when we've got things like elemental masterpiece to rebuy, which puts us in a more red sort of direction. There's an intro to prophecy, which is not bad because it's a lesson. There's a Witherbloom pledged mage if we want to stay the green course. Hmm. Interesting. I Test of talents, take... I guess, is fine. It's not. Yeah, awesome. it's okay. Uh, I think I'm going to take the pillar drop warden. Yeah, I oh, like maybe. it. Yeah. This uh, this might push us into a more prismari sort of direction, but we'll. I'm happy to stay open. Oh, okay. There's, uh... There's the professor and the summoning. Yeah. So I'm not a huge fan of this outsider. I think it's really good in Witherbloom, but not great anywhere else. Yeah, you kind of want payoffs for your pests. Yeah, so I'm happy to, happy to take the professor. Maybe we're just gruel. Maybe that's what we're doing. Oh, a camp. A, one campum? <laughs> a, a camp? One camp? Campo? We're losing Adrian, people. You've lost... I've lost it. Okay. Uh, okay. I, this is like poor man's Ruther. Yeah, one one shot Ruther that is on a whole card by itself, which is actually still good in this format. I've been happy. I, I run I've run multiple of these in decks before and been been quite happy. Oh, mm. nice. I don't hate the aerialist, but I think campus guide could actually be quite useful if we're going to do just a straight three color thing. Yep. Yeah. Snap yep. that up. Oh wow. <laughs> Light yeah, berry. Barium books is good. Light grape shot as well, which I actually think is decent. Um, oh, really? Yeah, because it's it's not hard to turn this into a fork bolt. Right, right. Okay, gotcha. Which is good in limited. So, like, best case scenario, you'll. Well, no, I think it's not uncommon that you'll be able to pick off, um, pick off multiple one, uh, multiple X ones. So, like, two silver quill. Oh um, yeah, and that's and that's pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Blade historian. Blade historian. That's not our guild. I not mean college. Our college. Uh, heated debate seems quite good. Well. Oh yeah, heated debate. Seems like a good one. How are we doing on lesson learn? I think we've got just the just the pop quiz so far. Yeah. Just the pop too. quiz. Yeah, we almost uh, picked the. Um, the Ignis yeah. inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So, I mean, from this point, we could still just be Prismari. Ooh. Okay, now we've got decisions. Elemental Expressionist has roughly a Tolkien novel printed on it. <laughs> but... 
basically it means whenever you cast a spell, if your creature would, if a certain creature would die, it dies into a four four. Yes, and I don't know how good that is. I've I've played against it and it never got triggered. Um, oh really? It's kind of wow. hard to cast if we're going to be heavy green. I actually think I'm going to take elemental summoning. Yeah, well, that was going to be my second pick, if not frost trickster. Yeah, so I think it's pretty close between these. If you told me at the start of the format that I would take five mana four four over flying frost links, I would not have believed you. But yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Is good. Oh, wormhole is good. Oh, bookworm is good. Okay, I Hello. looked at the wrong worm. Yeah, this is we're not we're not worming through holes. We're worming through books. Ah, see, one's a worm, the other's a serpent. That's a it's a critical difference, you know. Yeah. Do you know what the difference between a worm and a serpent is? Um, is it the mana cost? Yes. Uh, yes, I'm the best. I'm the best. Got him. Oh, Carrot Wrangler, wow. Carrot Wrangler. That sounds pretty good with what we're doing. Yeah, doesn't it? We've got eight spells so far, and we're planning to have plenty of things that make creatures. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, you, and uh, um You played this at the uh at the pre release uh over the weekend, didn't you? That I did to um to explosive results. Um yeah, Sam and I played each other and there was a plumb the plumb the depths? Yeah. Cast with like a Karak Wrangler and a um a Sedgemore Witch on the battlefield and lots of stuff I, happened. I lost that game, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, um this isn't going great. How's our curve looking? Um it's looking it's looking curvaceous. It's not looking too bad. It's like, do we want Teach or do we want Waterfall Aerialist? We're not low on creatures, are we? We have seven creatures. I think I'll grab this because I reckon we can get another Teach later. Yeah, that's a good point. And I'm, and I'm holding out hope that we'll get a Ruther. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, uh, I'm getting a phone call again. Is this from my, my local political candidate? Oh, it is. Oh, oh how exciting. I'm, I meant to answer the call, but I accidentally hung up on them instead. Oh, damn. A, a common mistake. Could happen to anyone. Terrible mistake. Um, spring main seven or cram session. We've only got one lesson at the moment, but I think I would like to get more. So yeah, being this. able to learn a bit more would be good. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised if we don't run that, though. Zoom in, see, opt. Introduction to Prophecy. Hmm. Which I think I'm going to take. Yeah. Opt is fine. Pillar of Warden's good. We've already got one. We've already got one of these as well. Um, but I was having a look through the 17 lands data the other day. This is surprisingly high on the uh, the commons that improve your win rate list. I but... can believe it. Um, every time I've played it, it's felt pretty good. Like, four yeah. threes in this format are all right. And um, the fact that it's two bodies for the price of one is always good. Yeah. Yeah, it's been kind of medium for me, like, just because it trades with random three twos a fair bit, but it does leave a one one behind, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, Biograph is good, but this is not the deck for it. We'll grab an expanded anatomy. My frog got real big. Whoopsie. Uh, would we play two campus guides? I can't really see it. But I guess we are really three colors. Like we're we are quite... properly three colors. But we've got two Prismari Campus Campi Campi Campodes, um, <laughs> uh, a Cultivate, and one Campus Guide. I think we're fine grabbing a Skurid Colony. Uh... So hang on, if I if I start like some fringe religious organization, mm. and there's only eight people in it. Is that a cultivate? It is actually, yeah. Oh wow, that's great. Uh, it's cultivate. <laughs> um, let's grab a team pennant. I don't think we will play. Uh, there's a chance we play this. Reckless. Big plays. That's what big picks, big plays, and whoa. All right, give us something good. 
Okay. Room the Wandering Archaic. So this card's tricky because I don't know how good... I've played with it before, but I don't know how good it was because I don't know if it was stranding spells in my opponent's hand or not. Yeah. It's kind of... You're, like, you'll, you'll know if you're sitting across from it how good it's been, but not if you're sitting with it. But yeah, um, like, they can't cast removal spells, right? Unless they pay you the extra two. Unless they pay the extra two, yeah. Uh, so I think I'll take it, because I think it is really good. Yeah, um, it looks it. But there's also a Hated Debate, a Pigment Storm, and an Elemental Summoning in this pack, so entirely possible we see this come around. Be nice, but anyway, I like Wandering Archaic. Okay. A Manifestation Sage. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of good stuff here. I like Manifestation Sage. I like Master Symmetrist. I really like Environmental Sciences. Yeah, especially in this deck. I think I'm going to grab it, yeah. They're turning all of our learn cards into fixing. Sounds really good. And we're trying to get up to a lot of mana with this one to cast Bookworm and Masterpiece. Yeah, and so... we got a bunch of double green in there. Yeah, so I think this is actually going to be really important. Excellent. Okie dokie. Is the Honor Troll any good? I'm not in our in deck. A... Yeah, I think it's good in Wither Bloom, but not with what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, I think I like Eureka Moment for what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Okay. How are we doing on lessons? We've got one Elemental Summoning, a Prophecy, Anatomy, and Sciences. Okay. That's We're not good. desperate enough that I'd grab this. Yeah, and double red is dubious. Yeah, because I think red is still our splash at the moment, so... Yeah, it's definitely the colour that we're the least in. Uh, we've got unplayable red rare. <laughs> Always nice. Uh, okay, so this is between Arcane Subtraction, Biomathematician, and Campus. I think I'm going to go the Subtraction. Yeah, the Learn, again, like, relevant spell with Learn on it. Yep. Is always nice. Yep, agreed. Biomathematician has been a little weaker than I thought it would be. There are some times where it's amazing when it drops like three plus one plus one counters onto the board. Um, but it's a little it's a little kind of small ball compared to how big this format gets. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And speaking of big, there's another elemental masterpiece. It's not big. I still don't know what to think of this card. I've had it be quite annoying against me. Five mana bounce. The fact that it's a sorcery is the thing that gets me. Yeah. Like, if this uh, was an instant, I think I'd be all about it. And I don't think this is good. No, it's just kind of, like, mill yourself for fun and for profit. Yeah, it's like a lot of mana for not much effect. Oh, wow. Okay, well... Wow. We got, we got some cards in here. My goodness, Snakes and Veil, Pop Quiz, Fractal Summoning, Prismara Pledge Mage, and Leyline. I think it comes down to Summoning versus Invocation, and I think I'm going to grab the Summoning. Yeah, I, I was going to I was gonna put my vote in for Summoning. Yeah. Do like a good lesson. All right, that, that improves things quite a bit. Man, oh, Wizards is, yeah. is going to have to work really hard to beat Lesson Learn as a oh, it's so good. limited mechanic. Yeah, it's just, I love it, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we've got Teach by Example versus Introduction to Annihilation. What What's the verdict on the spell satchel? I've heard it's bad. Oh yeah, totally, totally unplayable. Don't put this card in your deck. All right. Um, well, there's another cram session in there. There's also a uh, another Pillar Drop Warden, Dust Speaker. Is this good? think so could be i guess I it would be annoying if you like exile two big hits off of it, but what are the chances yeah yeah okay quandrix campus is a good one yeah getting a blue green campus that's uh that's, that's big for us i think that really yeah helps uh, us I, don't, out. I don't think we're a biomathematician deck we have like a single fractal as our as our fractal we have a single fractal as our fractals yeah yes well done Fractal count um, equals one. I uh, don't think we're playing any of these. Take the battle seer, just because maybe. Well. Uh, sure. You're not going on the honor roll. Uh, I'll 
good play by a mathematician. Three mana vanilla two four. Carrots. How does a rain? Oh, ooh, nice. Okay. And alrighty. Sage. Okay, well we've got an interesting one today. Gems? Yeah, this looks sweet. Okay. How are we looking? Looking very interesting. Oh, glad we got a bookworm in there though. That's um, yeah. that's gonna be something. Yeah, this is this is a, a huge pickup. Uh, I think we're going to play 18 lands with this deck. Um, what do we not want to play? I could see cutting one of the teachers. Oh, yeah, I, I can see. Um... Amplomancer. I could potentially see list. cutting both of them. Oh, but we don't have many cuts to make, do we? No, no, we've only got three cuts we need. Teach. So I think, like, something like. Amplomancer, Teach, and then one more to play 18 lands. Maybe the Waterfall Aerialist? Yeah, it's a fairly expensive 3-1, even though it does fly. And then we get a get another Forest in there? Yeah. Oh, it's interesting. This is putting red as our second color, so we're actually Gruul splash blue. <laughs> The, the classic archetype in uh, Strixhaven. That's the kind of groundbreaking drafting techniques you've all come to watch on the draft punks. Is it is it bucket list to draft a non college color pair? Just in like this format? straight non college, like red black. Yeah, just draft Rakdos. Yeah, um, I could see it. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna fiddle with this to make red our splash because we would very much like to have these blue cards early like we want this and this and this down early but oh and all our red, red stuff is mostly expensive game. yeah so first of all are we happy with this list i think so like this is okay this is okay feel this fills a spot in our curve actually is there anything else we want to cut um I think I like this. I could yeah. see cutting... Like, we do have three giant drops, but I kind of like having something to do with our mana on the top end, so... Especially in this format. Yeah, exactly. So... Okay, so... We're looking... We've got... Two... Three... Six blue... Seven red... Seven green. Seven green. Okay, I don't think we need seven red. Go up another blue. We'll go up another green. So yeah, if we go... Uh, up two blue. And two green. Now yeah, we've got something. nine green, eight blue, four red. And then we've also got Campus Guide to go get whatever, Cultivate to go get whatever. Also, the lesson. Yes, yeah, true. Also, um... also you know, that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Um, those of you following me on Twitter, <laughs> or just watching this channel, yeah, or just watching me draft on here, <laughs> will know I've got a massive problem with putting all of these in to take my deck screenshot and then forgetting to take them out again. <laughs> I believe last I to... episode there was a a a quick cancel. Yeah, I got. Uh, I was I was drafting through the week, and I got a. Uh, I got to game one, and there was a spirit summoning, sitting in my opening hand, along with two of my learn cards. I went, oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it was very funny. Um, okay, cool. I I think this is a uh, get out of my deck. 
<laughs> yeah, I, lo- I mean, as opposed to last week, we got removal and we got heavy hitters. So I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, and um, and speaking of last week, I've got a bit a bit of polling I'd like to do with you, fine folks. How important is win rate to you? So when you're watching our content or anybody else's, uh, ooh. um, I th- think this is a cape. Yeah, I don't hate it. Like we can set. I mean, we have all three colors, so campus guide isn't really doing a lot of work for us. Well, it's it's helping us hit land drops. Yeah. So it's possible we just quote unquote cycle one of these to get the Karak Wrangler down early. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I actually kind of like that idea. Yeah, when when you're watching uh, your magic content, how important is win rate? So do you do you actually get more enjoyment watching? Watching the people just crush it compared to getting crushed. Uh oh. So um, yeah, I don't know. And I think we go get another forest because we do have a double green card now. Yeah. Yes. Forest seems correct. Uh, yeah, because Adrian and I were, were talking about it because our first Strixhaven draft, we just completely annihilated people. Um, yeah, just completely crushed them. And then a second strict save and draft, fates were reversed and we got crushed. We were um, the crushies. I think I take this block. Um, I mean, it's one less target for your Wrangler, but... I could see this being quite annoying later. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, it's probably a trick. So... Nope. Oh, okay. Illustrious history. Very illustrious. Okay, so now I think we... Ooh, now I think we. I need to play this if I'm going to make a treasure. So yeah, now I think I make a treasure and then probably make an Ardent Dust Speaker. Oh, yep. And then uh, and then Wrangle. Yeah, and then Wrangle the next turn. Okay, so... Doing somewhat aggressive things. Like, turn three with a 2-1. You know? Yeah, it's not the worst thing we could face. Oh, oh wow. goes face. Straight to the face. The face is the place. That's aggressive. Now now I was I was talking smack about them not being aggressive. That's aggressive. I uh I don't know if I've mentioned this on this channel yet, but the fact that they put cards named Igneous and a card named Ingenious in the same set is <laughs> cruel. <laughs> oh no no, we're playing Gruel. Oh, sorry. My mistake. Um, but yeah, I, mean, yeah. I agree. It's it's very funny. Um, Saffron Olive is never going to recover. Uh, looking forward to watching Saffron Olive trying to pronounce these names. <laughs> okay, he goes and gets a... Less cycling. Oh, a Pillar to Orden is not terrible. That Let's will stop the beat down. Let's but so will a 3-4, especially when they just use their 3 mana burn spell to... Yeah. I wonder if that means they've got a lot of removal in hand, or if it means they were just desperate for another play to make next turn. Yeah. That's a good question. No. No touchy. Okay. Having a look. Having a read. No touchy. Trying to figure out what the game is. So I guess it could be hated debate. Could be heated debate. Could be just inkling summoning. Could be absolutely nothing. (sighs) What does that mean? Swing pillar drop warden? Whenever it attacks, so I can put this in the on the bottom. I think I like that because I really want to hit my land drop. Yeah, hitting a land drop right now be actually very good. Get down the archaic. This might be expel, but we still get our two cards off this. We do. So, yeah, I think we I think we just go for it. In we go. If we speak to the dust, what does the dust say? It says, I clean me. I hey, you called it. Cool. The trigger's still on the stack, though. 
Oh, look, that's that's ideal. We cycled it, and we'll draw it later. Oh, well, I guess we can still hit a land drop. We just can't play a 5-5. Five five. I mean a 4-4. Four four. Yeah, so I guess we... Yeah, I guess we just call for that. Which grab... isn't bad here. Like, Yeah, no, 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 it's quite good. I think we grab Island Forest. So I don't think we need double red for anything. No, and I, I can't see us, like, double spelling... A red spell anytime soon. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it matters which one. I mean, you could have played the island out of your hand, so you could leave up the cycle on the elemental masterpiece if it ever mattered, but I don't think oh, you're yeah, ever going to do that. Yeah. Pump spell. Oh! Wow. The aggression. Oh, we're going to get Wandering Archaic down before they cast either. That's nice. Unchecked aggression, and they're choked on lands as well. Um... Oh, but we could also just slam the Masterpiece. Yeah, it's probably better, right? Yeah. Could get the Carrick Wrangler down first, but I think being mana efficient here is... Oh, I mean, I kind of want to play the, the Wandering Archaic before they play these. Yeah, okay, well, let's do it then. Yeah. I don't know, that might be... Might be wrong, but I like this card. Like it's, I guess it's it's more free value for us. Yeah, exactly. Or they sit there and decide that they don't want to do anything because because we we we're, we're gonna get free stuff. This has got to be so awkward for them if they don't hit a land drop. Yeah, I know, right? Casting Inkling Summoning. Okay, hits hit the, the land, land drop. drop. Are they is gonna pay? Is it going to be a 5 mana 2-1 flyer? Will they pay to play? No, uh, they will not. They have their own Dust Speaker. Okay. Man, this this Dust is very conversational. It is. Uh, my turn. Uh, shall we drop a couple of 4-4s four on the board? I think so. Do we want to attack? Oh, no, I don't, I I don't so. like the idea of trading it. Yeah. Four fours. We have lots of them. Now, would you like to cast an instant or sorcery spell? That is the question. Raul Zarek? Okay. That totally isn't Raul Zarek, though. They're not even what? using the Raul Zarek avatar. What are they doing? Yeah, this is this is clearly Nico Aris. Yeah. Okay, gets in there. All right. Looking for the cards. So I think I just double block with land, the Land, land. Okay. Which is not bad when you're facing down a Wandering Archaic, I suppose. Although they can only use one of them. So I guess it is kind of bad. I think I like this block. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, how bad can it get? Well, we're going to find out. find out. Join maybe us. this is uh maybe this is Tybalt. Oh, and and this is like I'll 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 hit him with the double, the double bluff. Yeah, yeah. that seems like a, a Tybalt kind of thing. Yeah, to that's do. a that's a that's a big Tybalt move. Also, if they go for a combat trick here, they have to pay two extra, or we get the combat trick as well. Which means they can't really cast another spell this turn. Yeah, Which suits me just fine. Yeah. Okay, you go, you're gonna pay? Do I get one too? Yeah, we get. Do we get one? No, no dice. Okay. I'm totally fine with that. Gets a three. Especially two. if that's their entire turn. Would you like to make a spirit? <laughs> spirit? <laughs> you oh, wanna we, make one? We rarely get to see how effective this is, but it's being real effective right now. Yeah, because we can see the cards in their hand, right? So yeah, exactly. We get the we get the inside scoop. Eight mana. So I think let's attack with the token and play these two. Yeah, that seems good. You could argue that you should play the Eureka moment um, first. Eureka, yeah, I can see that. Well. Okay. 
things things we've learnt. Well, then we're, we're, we're probably play playing Carrot, the Wrangler right? now. Well, I guess... I can Pillar Drop and then activate the Pillar Drop next turn and get back something and then play the Wrangler. Get back Monster Base or something. Mm. Nah, that's just... Yeah, no, I think I like playing that. Yeah, I think get back masterpieces is the plan. In for four. And actually, I can bring back and then play masterpiece next turn. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can all in one. Yeah. You can kind of see what I mean about the lands in this format. Like, we're, like we're hitting our ninth land drop and we're happy to see it. I guess it depends on the deck. Like, maybe in the Silver Quill deck, not great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver Quill's different, but in the... In the Quandrix, uh, Quandrix, Prismari, and Tima decks, I think you you want to hit just every land drop for the for the entire game. Quandrix et al. Yeah. They haven't. I think on, about Tybalt. the four damage. Okay, they will oh, take it. Got in there. They decided. it. Okay, here's a one five for your aggro deck. The fact that this random red creature has reach has gotten me every time. Oh yeah. <laughs> same with the uh, same with Master Symmetrist. The, the, oh the yeah, you just forget that everything gets trampled. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Okay, so now we're going to pillar drop back. Uh teach by example. Oh, so pillar drop back. Elemental Masterpiece, and then we'll teach by example that next turn. Does that mean we should get the Wrangler on the board so we'll also spread around a vast quantity of um, yep. plus one, plus one counters? Shame this can't be done at instant speed. We're just going to take a, a pinch of plus one, plus one counters from the bowl and sprinkle them onto the board. And I guess I hold my land? I mean... Yeah. I can't think of a good reason to... Can Teach target there. stuff that is not ours? It, it doesn't target, actually. Oh, it's just whenever you cast. Oh, it's like a yeah. double cast. Right, right, right. Yeah, so you need to... Uh, you need to be careful with this one. You need to cast it before your spell. It's not a fork that you cast after your spell. Right, it's not expansion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And in an emergency, we can cast this to get a plus one, plus one counter somewhere if we need it. That's true. But I don't think we're going to need it. I think I'd be, have to be pretty desperate to turn down another two four fours for two mana. Yeah. Okay, have a look. Man, this Wandering Archaic is just strangling them. You can see them sitting there trying to figure out what to do to get around it. Yeah, because and even then, like... If they've got a removal spell for it, they've got to pay the extra, and that's all they're doing that turn. Exactly, yeah. There it goes. Oh. Ooh. I mean, do destroy we, something. Do we get to choose new target? Uh, do we get to choose new modes? I don't think we do. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Take action, I think. Oh, well, oh, I guess we can just target it. Again. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. Alright, they found a way around it. Uh, oh, I could have... No, no, the triggers were in the wrong order. And I I we can only put it on things we control. I think I build up the Wrangler itself. The Jeep Wrangler? <laughs> Yeah, just to get it out of Igneous Inspiration range. The, the Draft Punks, sponsored by Jeep. I mean, hey, Jeep, if you want if you want to get your uh, your four-wheel drive message out to the good drafters of the world, can you think of anyone better? I mean, where are you guys? I mean, honestly. Throw us throw us your best Jeep ad. Oh, yeah, and and you know. Yeah, you got to pay us some money. Don't don't jeep out on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, it's got to be something like buy jeep. They're fast and they're jeep. 
<laughs> fast and uh, and jeep jeep i did that with finger guns as well that's really important oh nice um okay so free to cast their free cmc instance of sorceries now they are they are going off though Alrighty. All right. Speaking of going off. Oh, and there's the Symmetrist as well. Let's do this. So I think let's put, I guess, one counter on each of them. Um, or I just pile two onto the the token and just start smashing with it. Yeah, they'll get trampled as well, so. Not till next turn. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But to make their, their double blocks less good. Oh no, we're actually going to get three. We're going to get three. So, okay, let's go teach. Put a counter on four, four. And now we're going to... Masterpiece. Here's the, we, we're teaching. Here's the example. And I don't click the wrong option this time. Yeah, that'd be bad. Double trigger. To make a counter six, six. Here. Here. Ooh, this is definitely a sprinkling. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's so sick. All right, I'm just going to get in with that. I think I don't want to give them double blocks on the Karak Wrangler. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, trades that off. Chump, that makes sense. Chumping. Chumps that off. Chumping. Chump, Chumpsville. Alrighty, I like, I like how we're looking here. Oh man, the, I'm finding the gameplay in this format to be just incredible. Like the decks go so big, you do such crazy things. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, ooh, that's this okay. is a little scary. Access tunnel is a bit of a clock actually, but we're about to have a giant trampling army next turn. I'm pretty sure we're just going to kill them next turn. So yeah, they could make Storm Kiln Artist unblockable, get in for five or six, and that leaves them two toughness compared to our Mi 16, millions. 22, 27 power of trample. God. <laughs> it's a lot, isn't it? That's uh that's rather intimidating. And they they don't even know it's got trample in stage. Yeah, okay. Okay, three mana left to end the game, basically. What's the best they could do? They double trick. Got something. Double this double trick scary, might actually. put us put us in the bin. Yeah. Are we dead? Double trick. Oh no! Bad. Oh! oh! <laughs> Shock Luke. is the last card. Shock! No! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Oh no! And I even called it. Wow! Incredible. <laughs> well, hey. Access Sometimes. tunnel, combat trick, shock for the win. No, not bad. Not bad. Unbelievable. Wow. Well, I don't think we're supposed to play around that. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think we could have. I mean, like the only thing we could have done differently was not get greedy with the um uh with the teach by example, and we could have just run out elemental masterpiece on the previous turn. Oh, yeah, but that's I a fair point. I don't think we could have killed them as the problem. No. So, I'm okay with how we played that. Alright, this looks good. It's got a 2-drop, a 3-drop, and a 4-drop. That's what we in the business call a mana curve. It is indeed. And do we go get a land with this? Probably. Yeah, I think we would... Uh, I mean, Cultivate's gonna do that anyway. I don't know. I guess mm. so. Might depend if we draw a land on turn one. 
Yeah, if we if we draw into a land naturally, I don't think we would want more than that. Well, yeah. <laughs> there's the answer. All three colors. There it is. Um, yeah, I guess campus guide. You are a two one. No, I do not want you to tell me where the cafeteria is. I'd like to know where the cafeteria is. Well, well we don't know. We'll never find out now. Charge oh. in. No. Study break. Okay. Study break. He is tapped. Single target study break. This card's really good. I like oh, card. yeah. I, um, I've played with it. I think it's one of the better common learn cards. If not the yeah, best. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, I, I really like the parallel you made between this and uh, Ardenvale Tactician. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's quite accurate. And especially in this set when you, you get, like, sure, you get all the value of Ardenvale Tactician, but you also trigger, trigger main, Magecraft. Sorry, I'm just having a stroke over here. James um, Nunn's having a strong. <laughs> but you also try to trigger... Oh, I'm doing real good today. <laughs> you also trigger Magecraft, and that's awesome. Call the Bondulance. <laughs> I, I, need a, I need more than one. I need a, I need a fleet of Bondulances. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Reflective Golem. Is it any uh, good? Nice that, nice that they didn't get a summoning or a... Uh... Uh, an expanded anatomy is pretty good with reflective golem. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Wow, go on, go on looking really early. I wonder if they're looking for lands. I wonder if they've got an expensive hand. Double top. Double top. Okay. Maybe they found the land. They found the promised land. The fact that they tapped like that indicates to me that they either have or they're looking for lash. Yeah, that's a good point. So I think let's attack with Dustpaker. We won't play our land pre-combat. Oh no, we don't know. Oh yeah, no, we've got to cultivate. Attack. Put it cultivate in on the, bottom. the library and land, land. Okay. Happy with that. Is there a lash in our near future? I reckon they totally have Lash, but they didn't want a two-for-one themselves. Yeah, yeah. I think we just run out the Professor. I do like the Zoomancy. That's when you've got a, a an ocean full of zoom in. Ah, oh, Lash on the camp. Deal. Got, got it. I accept, <laughs> I accept your terms. Will, will trade. Fifth land. Doing the Mardu thing. There's Killian's Killian. a good one. Very strong. Still has some sort of problem with Ian, and I don't know why. Well, he hasn't. He clearly hasn't resolved it yet. He, st he still hasn't killed Ian. Yeah, I know. It's it's still on his to do list. What else have you got for us? So Reflective Golem plus Killian is potentially a potent combo. Yeah. But, um... Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hello. Uh, yeah. I think we just play that. Yeah, you know what's a potent one-card combo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't think we attack here. Oh, do we have the mana? We don't have the mana, do we? We can't get up to eight. Oh, we're only on seven this turn. Okay, we'll bookworm next turn. Do we do we attack with the dust speaker? Like, would we trade dust speaker for? Oh no, we can't get a trigger this turn. No, nah, I don't want to attack anymore. Um, I mean, you could do masterpiece pre-combat, then attack. But then yeah, again, but what would we cast? Uh, well, I can't. I can't play a land or a spell at that point. So yeah. Uh, would I trade Professor for Killian? I would. Yeah, I kind of would as well. 
if it's cheapening all their removal spells, then would not mind. I can almost see attacking with both here. Um, because if they want to kill either of our creatures, they've got to double block or have a trick. Yeah, it's like well, well if they double block the Ardent Dust Speaker, would we trade Dust Speaker for Killian? Yeah, I mean, I can kind of see it. I mean, it's nice, it's nice value, especially off the back of the instant that we're about to cast this turn. Yeah, I mean, all well, the issue is we're probably going to want to buy that one back. That's a good point. So let's let's get in there. Pest on defense. They say offense is the pest defense. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, viewers, for joining us for joke of the week. <laughs> um, uh oh. Oh, this no good. This looks dangerous. Nothing good can come of that. Uh oh. I don't they got the cost one. Well, they've got oh. a cost reduced trick oh. that will get copied for two. Yikes. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> that's real bad. Touch the blow out there. Yuck. Okay. Well, well, that being said, maybe really smart. They they showed us their trick, and now we just go four fours again. Yeah. And we're about to drop a bookworm next turn. Yikes. Yeah, I, th I think we're okay still, and we can buy back the elemental masterpiece. So I think we're okay, but that was a hell of a blowout. Yeah, the old one, one for two. Okay, that's a good one. All right. Oh, don't touch it. That's strong enough. If they attack here, it's very telling that they have another one. Okay. Ooh. All right, that's a good one. We got some... Well, I mean, we're dropping a bookworm on them, no question. Yeah. Do I attack with the 4-4? Four, four? I can I can see going to combat first, because it reduces their ability to sort of... If, if they decide to go to the double block, which I, they probably don't do, or they get another card out of their hand. Yeah. Nope. Time to I play mean, bookworm. It's entirely possible they remove our bookworm. I mean, but on, we we've already won. Like we can, then <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we've we've resolved bookworm. If they kill the bookworm, the bookworm just like gets put back in the deck, and it's it's over. And now we can cram session for fractal summoning, play leyline invocation. Oh. So we've got another two turns of of eight eights coming right up. Do you like eight eights on the battlefield and bookworms? In the rain. Although if I if we draw a land, we could go cram session for elemental summoning. Get another and four then four. play pillar drop warden and elemental summoning. Oh yeah. Not bad. What do you reckon, opponent? Is our is our bookworm not long for this world? Oh. That's a scary card. Dies. Okay. Gain Thankfully, a most of our stuff was too big for the for lightning healer's mode. Gonna get in. Everything gets in. Um. I mean, I guess we just block the thing. One of the things we can block. Yeah, block reflective golem, I guess. Because if they're gonna point a remove, if they're gonna point pump spells at things, they'll definitely point one at this. But yeah. I don't think we're gonna lose our bookworm. They just seem to want to get on the get on the board that turn. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So now I think we just attack with both, make an eight-eight play Gram session. Yeah. That's that puts us pretty far ahead. That puts us back on twenty. Yeah. And. Oops. Delays us. Can cancel that order. Learning for big removal spell. Oh, introduction to annihilation. Oh, do we make their job hard now and play? Do we? Do we have? If we go four, 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 four. Oh, we can do that anyway, can't we? 
So I just need to make sure we're not gonna die if I make if I ley line here. Because I can ley line cram up to 20, they introduction the 8-8 and get in for what's on board, 9. That seems okay. Yeah. Or I could play Pillar Drop Warden Master Symmetrist to kind of play around that. And then they'll probably point the introduction at Bookworm. Which we draw a card off of. Yeah. It's not the end of the world. And now our 4-4s... Four my our 4-4... Four four, well, Z Have Trample. So do you like Pillar Drop plus Symmetrist here? Yeah, I don't actually mind it. Because okay. we also can threaten the double block on the 3-3 three three on the Killian, which kind of like stops their whole party. And thankfully they can't cast anything else. If they're going to cast Prophet uh, Annihilation here. We get a card. Oh, oh. hello. 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 <laughs> okay. No attacks, I assume. Wow, we can buy back our other element for Masterpiece and just play Masterpieces for the rest of the game. Yeah. Well, see, I, yeah, that was good, right? Because now then they didn't have an attack. Yeah, yeah. And if they were going to have an attack, it was that turn. Okay, so I think we get in with 4-4. Four, four. Play Leyline plus Cram Session? Yeah. Yep, I, I like that. Hey, look, it's got Trample. They have done very powerful things this, this game, but I think we're still going to get that. Yeah, I'm happy to get that Reflective Golem off the board. Yep. Especially when uh, there's some more coming down. Yeah, we have plenty of 4-4s. Four so yeah, I think we get... I think we get Fractal Summoning. Yeah, we're just gonna make big things that have Fractal for the rest of the game. Do you like 8-8's eight, eight, opponent? What do you think of 8-8? Eight, eight? Okay, that okay. gets around it. But we are okay. attacking for eight with trample like every turn now. Yeah. Also, um, the colony has reached. Oh. So we can sort of put a damper on their party. Another sneaky reach. I think let's go masterpiece. What now? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Wow. So they they got the savage two for one with the um the reflective golem plus beaming defiance and it just didn't matter. We just steamrolled still. Yeah, we just went, here's some four fours, here's this here's an eight eight. Also we just played a two mana four four with reach. Yeah. Where they're like they're they're Star creature at that moment was the tutu with line. Yeah. Okay. And we were still and we we're still at twenty life. Hey, in stark uh, contrast to last week, we got a win. Hey, hey, hey! We got one win last week. Okay, that's true. I guess we got to get two wins for it to be uh, special. Somehow, I think we're gonna get there this week. Ooh. Win two, not with this hand though. Not with this hand, I don't think. Hang on. Okay. Um I guess it's we keep not this. Great, but I will keep it. Like do you put away the Wrangler and we go on the treasure plan? Yeah, probably. Maybe I put this back actually, because we've already got another four drop. Oh yeah. Uh but that's a that's a four drop that's two bodies when we don't have any other creatures. Yeah, okay. Lands into cultivation. If we could not, stop facing aggressive decks, that would be nice. Not willing to be an ingredient. Just one. One oh, nothing. We like that. Alright, so I think I'm just going to make a treasure. And then I'll make a Master Symmetrist next turn. Yeah, that seems nice. Hmm. 
not a professor. Uh, uh, well, uh, time to do this. <laughs> yeah. The main deck, Jurass. Well, it's sort of the main main deck peak now. The main deck peak. Oh well, I guess it. No, sorry, I was I was thinking of a completely different card. <laughs> Never mind me. Um. Oh, let's get Symmetrist down. I suppose there could have been an argument for subtracting for sciences. This is true. So if we don't draw a land, we're in a little bit of trouble. Nice. And that was an argument. Archaic is something. Okay. I guess we've so, just, like, passed the turn. No. The other half of this is unplayable, right? Yeah, it's sort of bad. Yeah. It's it's a it's a big it's a big group huggy sort of Yeah. Whoa. Uh -huh. Whoa. 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 Okay. Ingredients unwilling. Let's go get some science. Take not minus three. Well, Professor Azumancy does the job now. Yeah. yeah. So you, you played with this at the pre-release as well. How was it? Uh, it's great if you can feed it. If you've got yeah. a lot of sort of effective and cheap ways to... Um, make it not just sack itself. It's really strong, um, even when you just get it to sack itself. Oh, that's really good. That is good. Okay. They're, they're living the dream over here. Um. Wow, okay, so I guess it's just... Attack with Professor, play Sciences, pass the turn? Yeah, that sounds about right. Uh-oh, this, uh... Demogoth is being a bit of a problem. Is that if you've got like a uh, uh, a goth friend called Demo? Correct. Yeah. Oh, this is Demo. Listens to a lot of uh, My Chemical Romance. And then we, I guess we just like are now in the stage of the game where we're praying. Well, so I mean, we can play Wandering Archaic next turn. And we can double block the Woe Eater. Or if we draw a land, we can make a 6-6 six, six that can just... Well, they're just passing? I don't understand that. Okay. Are there any token makers at instant speed? Um, there's the one where you sack the creatures to make the tokens. Oh yeah, they could have 10 the pests. But that means they'd be sacking their 7-6 for 7 pests. Which is fine, but I think at this stage of the game, if I were them, I'd prefer the 7-6. Um, there aren't really any flash creatures. Um, Does that mean we hold this back in case they've got 10? Well, I guess we can play this. No, that doesn't stop it. I mean, I do think we just play the Wandering Archaic. The question is, do we attack? And if they've got 10 the pests, I think I'd rather have this back as a blocker. Um, if they have 10 the pests, if we play Archaic now, and they don't play 10 the pests, we attack. Because then we'll get a copy but, of 10 the pests with the same value of X. But they can, they can just pay, they can pay for it. Oh, that's a good point. Um, well, I don't think there's a world where we're not playing this, so yeah. Yeah. Did they think pest summoning was an instant? Hey, called it. It's ten the pests. Oh, um, that's right. Because you sack it, you get the trigger. 
think I just pitch Pillar Drop Warden. Or is there the argument that we pitch Masterpiece because we're not close to casting it and we can pick it up with Pillar Drop Warden? Oh, yeah, that's probably fair, actually. Okay, I'm gonna make a bajillion pests, and I guess now we pass. I would have, uh, I think I would have run out the pest summoning and continued to get hits in with the 7 6. But we don't know the rest of their hand. Yeah, they could, um. I mean. Nice if they some out there, they alive now. Yeah. Yeah, we were definitely right to keep the pillar of warden. Oh my goodness. Oh, they got another one. Well, cramp uh... session keeps us alive. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. Um. What can we cram session for? We don't have an annihilation. No. We do have. We do have expanded anatomy. That's something that that can uh, make one of our creatures go toe to toe with it. Yeah, I think that's the plan then. Um, I don't want to jinx it, but removal would suck big time. Regardless, uh, you could you could swing him. That's got vigilance. Ah. Uh, is that a is that a punt bell I hear <laughs> ringing in the distance? In the ah oh, on the on the winds, I can hear it. Not in with the pests. Okay, will they sack it? No, oh, happy All to right. trade. Oh. oh my god! Opponent. <laughs> is that the third one? Yep. That's insane! Yep. What the hell? I mean, I guess um, we just play the pillar drop one and blast the turn. Yeah. But yeah. again, we can take... We can take... Seven here. And then if we hit a land, our Leyline Invocation creature will trade with it. This is true. And then they will play another... <laughs> Demogoth Woe Eater. Their, their hand is currently 10 the pests and 4 copies of Demogoth Woe Eater. Okay, yeah. taking 7. Ow. Come on, deck. Land off the top. That's, that's, a big, one. that's another big one. Well, that, okay, that, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I mean, we're not in an amazing place. No. But we're not dead yet. Go on, misclick. Sack the Pledge Mage. Sack the Pledge Mage. Ah, damn it. Uh, we've got such good humor, Adrian. <laughs> Cryopyrosis. Okay, go on to the combat yeah, step. Here we go. So well, I think we double block the Pledge Mage. Yeah, I mean, we're going to lose the Archaic. But... I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Unless we want to chump, which I don't think we want to do. Yeah. I mean, you could cast it, chump it. Oh, maybe that's what we should have done. Like, bury in books, chump the pledge mage, activate the warden, or is the warden only a sorcery? It's sorcery. Ah, okay. That makes it. That's good. Okay. Tucked it. Well, they will get to cast a four. And and yeah, I'm I'm pretty wowed. Whoa. Um. Yep. Come uh, on, land. Give us a land, land off the top. Oh, oh. yucky, yucky, yucky. Ugh. Cultivate doesn't quite do it. Oh, yuck. I mean. I mean, we're we're kind of done here, right? I can't see no. you've many ways through this. I guess we're not dead yet. If we can draw a land for Bookworm, that'll be a, a real good step in a in the right direction. Yeah. Pests, pests, ho. Down to one. one. 
To draw land, we go up to four. Draw land up to four. Land, please. That ain't it. Very sad. Um, there's nothing that we can... There's no, like, uh, cry of the Carnarium that we can cast at the moment, is there? That'd be nice. That I'm aware of. Wouldn't mind a nice cry it. of the Carnarium at this stage. Pick up. We've got seven mana, so we can cast five mana worth of stuff. We could pick up a Cram Session. Oh, does that, oh that keeps us alive, doesn't it? Uh, it'll put us up to five. Oh, and then we'll die. And then we die. Quite handily. Uh, I'm just checking out our wish board. I don't think we've got anything that helps. So I think we're done. Oh, well, I mean, if we look at the cards that they've cast this game... <laughs> <laughs> most of them are Damagoth Woe Eater. <laughs> Mo most of them are Damagoth Woe Eater. Um, one of which they just drew. Uh, I don't think we had much of a chance. Yeah, bloody hell. What a deck. Yeah, whoa. 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 Okay. One, two. We're on the we're on the line once again. We find ourselves going All into right, a third go. game, unsure of our fate. On the bubble, yeah. It's all right. I feel confident. We can we can rack up another six wins with this deck. Yeah, that'd be a very exciting video. Yeah, yeah, it would. And and you know. Uh, the viewer who's watching this right now, you probably already know based on how far the red line is on the video. Big Donny, Big, Big Dotty. Dotty. No, this ain't this ain't no little Dotty. <laughs> Small Dotty is out. Uh, this this looks great. Big Dotty. Ah, I like this. Big Dotty. Okay. Um. Yeah, so but but that being said, if you're if you're watching this right now, you know exactly how long we've got left of this video and ha what our fate is. So I don't you... encourage people to look at that. Unless we get sneaky and just put a large amount oh, of blank. We could, yeah, yeah, you don't know that. Don't scrub through it. Don't scrub through it now just because we said it. Let it be a surprise for everyone. Mainly us, because we don't know yet. You already know. You're in the future. <laughs> Uh, but Big Dotty is... Ooh, no attack from the Pledge Mage. I like that. Is putting down some defenders. Um, you play a Prismari Campus and a hold-up subtraction. Yeah. I like that. And we probably go get Elemental Summoning. Yeah, because we're on track for five lands and we've got Eureka Moment, so... Yeah. Okay. Storm kill Marvist. Okay. Now the question is, do we cycle this then? Hmm. Or do we like try and do we do we run Eureka moment next turn, or do we try and double it? Teach by example. Yeah, I don't mind running at Pillar Drop Warden next turn. Ah, uh, yeah, that's that slows down the onslaught. Well, not that there's much of an onslaught, but I know you know yeah. what I mean. Ooh, oh, hello. Book bookworm's good. Entirely possible we wish for sciences now, then. Yeah. Okay, dropping, dropping the pillar on them. Defense is up. Now what do they got? They're doing team of things as well. So it's, um, also also it's a good one. Discard a land. Discard a land. Okay. Yeah, so I found I found compulsive research a little awkward in this format because you often don't want to discard lands. Yeah. Um. So I mean, all the stuff that we would be casting is a an instant, right? So we just pass here. Yeah. True. 
play an island class. Because we can either go and double learn, or we just Eureka moment at the end of their turn. Yeah. Oh, do we have like tricks on them with um, lands and skewered colony, or is that eight lands? It's eight lands. Ah, okay. That'd be that's pretty cool actually. Drop a land at instant speed to pump up your skewered colony. That that would be cool. Going to combat. Okay, getting in there. In with the storm kiln artist. Oh well, we totally block here. Yeah. Because I reckon yeah, they're like, haha, ha, first strike, got him. Maybe I should have blocked with pillar drop warden as well in case they've got. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> okay, well I'll, I'll let them resolve theirs first. <laughs> Okay. Just so they don't know what's coming. Got him. Gets yeah. elemental summoning. And now hang on, before you cast that, do we oh do we teach? Just so we No, can... I think I think I'm, I'm gonna try and copy Eureka Man. Oh, okay, yep. I'm um, I'm on or board. The, or the elemental summoning. Yeah. They'll probably Eureka moment because we can curve into it pretty well next turn. Okay. It's like a mirror match, Adrian. <laughs> Does a bit. Bounce. Hello. Hello, big doddy. Big doddy. Did they just misspell big daddy? No, because like the O is on the other side of the keyboard, right? Spectacle mage. Not even wearing glasses. <laughs> My turn. Oh. oh, that's pretty good. All right. Okay, so now they're going to attack into the Skurid Colony, not knowing that it could be an 8-8. Yeah, that's that's fun. If we hit two lands... Well, a four if we hit a land off each... Did I say 8-8? Eight, eight? Yeah, you did say 8-8. Eight, eight. But I know what you mean, 8 lands. That was close. Um... Cool, I guess we just pass then. Yeah, I guess if you swap those numbers, it's a really broken card. Like, if you have four lands, it's an 8-8. Eight, eight, versus if you have eight lands, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. That seems pretty good. It seems like a good deal. Oh, if only we had a Karak Wrangler in play again. Oh, that'd be... That'd be wild. Be pretty sweet. Alright, let's try and Did save we it. just get him? I really hope so. Come on. Here we One go. land off each of them. Here we go. Or two lands off the first. Yes. Okay, one land. Second land, Come let's on. go. One more land. One more land. One more land of it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> That's a 4-4, four, four, baby! Yes! <laughs> oh, that's so sick. That was good. That was awesome. Elemental summoning. Yeah. Elemental summoning. I guess they still might attack here, but maybe not. Yeah. I mean, we got a 1 5 with reach, so it doesn't even matter, really. Yeah, I don't think I trade off four four for something smaller here. I think we just take. I five. mean, there's a chance that you, uh, would we trade it for the the um storm kiln artist? Yeah, maybe actually, it has been generating a fair bit of mana for them. Hey, what is the spectacle mage doing? Again? It just gets um makes makes the big stuff cheaper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind that actually. Okay, well that's a good answer to the uh, the token. Yeah, it is. Eight mana. I think we just cast bookworm. Uh, I mean, you just yeah. I mean, come on. Who are we? I mean, it could be could be elemental summoning hold up berry. But I mean, I uh, guess like the like... sooner we get the bookworm on the battlefield, the better, right? 
Yeah. We're gonna gain free life. I'm gonna get a 7-7 seven, seven with trample. We're oh gonna God. draw another elemental masterpiece. Life's wow. good. Oh, that that play last turn was so good. Especially <laughs> off the electrolyze. Yeah. Oh, Very so good. Sick. Good old three mana draw a card. They you, you never see you never see the instant speed instant speed put two lands on the battlefield. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um okay, so let's attack with bookworm, hold up burying books, reevaluate. Yeah. There's also blowout potential if we want to just get them on the double block here. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant by hold up burying books. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, I didn't mean pass the turn. Oh, I'll listen here. Right. Nah, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, think. so we've got nine mana now. Five, four, yeah, nine. I accept a... your offer. Chumping? No, we're not Does chumping. That mean you've got the debate in hand? Yeah, That's alright, Bookworm comes back. Um, I think we go. So do we go Elemental summoning? Summoning Symmetrist? Summoning Symmetrist. Yeah. I like summoning. I, sh I assume they're just holding up a heated debate. Something like that. I'll we'll play also... this first. In case they've got to uh, reject. Yeah, that's a good point. Big Dotty. Big Dotty's got something. Oops. Can't cast that one. Just one elemental, not two. Okay. Now we're going to find good. out. You got Big Dotty. Oh, the babe. You know. Got him. Called it. Well. Unlucky for them. This one, this one comes back. Sure does. So yeah. Now the question is, do we put it back immediately? Oh. Speaking of the dust, once again. So oh. I've got nine mana. If I draw a land, I can put this back and play yeah. masterpiece. This is very um, true. If I don't draw a land, it's like put Bookworm back, play Professor, which is a little small ball. So I think I'm just going to draw. Yeah. Hey, ah, look. There we go. No problemo. Look at us casting like 10 mana worth of stuff in a turn. And still wishing we had more mana. I know, like, ah, oh, we can't cast double elemental mastery? Damn, that's no good. If we draw another, uh... Oh, no, we cut a teach. We've only got one. Damn. Oh, I could get it back. You could get it back. Maybe I should do that, actually. I mean, it'll take us off of our big mana plan this turn. Interesting. Do they have a... A shock? No, they just, they just like, they like losing. Well, they, they might, they, they might still have a shock. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Opponent, do you like four fours? I hope so, because we've got a few of them for you. Four for you. Four for you. Bookworm's ability is an instant, isn't it? It is. Yes. Thank you for reminding me of that. It's okay. I mean, it's a little late now that we're in our end step, but there's the shock. We died to that card a couple of games ago. We sure did. I think we're okay in this one, though. Expressive iteration is a good card, but Gonna... it's not affecting the battlefield, which is what dear opponent needs to be doing. That was interesting that they chose to throw away their Spectacle Mage and their Shock rather than just trade a 4 4. Yeah, the 4-4 four, four that can't attack into the 1-5. Yeah. I found that um, Expressive your... Iteration is like the brainstorm of this set. It always takes a million years to resolve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they okay. found a divide by zero. Okay, so you can bounce our Master Symmetrist. Bounce that a token? That doesn't bounce tokens, my friend. Okay. 
I mean... Finds intro to prophecy, okay. Okay, so then digging. We're gonna get tucking. Tuck the bookworm. Ooh, another land. Okay, so now I can attack with the four fours, buy back uh teach by example, and then cast masterpiece, I believe. Yeah, like and and get sort of crazy on them. Yeah. Bury them in value. Yeah, they're not they're not ready to be buried in books just yet. We're gonna bury them in four fours. Yep. Okay, trades off, thinking finally the four fours, I'm done with them. They've had enough. Wrong one. That's it. Did I did I give you a mini heart attack? You did. I got a little scared. I had big big Zamone uh flashbacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so <laughs> But we kinda dealt with it though. <laughs> it was... Oh, it was so good. Okay, so we dumped, what, 16 power on the board? Yeah, they're done. Yep. Okay, cool. Very good. Adrian, Adrian I like this deck. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're 2-2 two, two. in the two, bear two. bracket. On the on the road to 7-2. What's a famous 7-2? A famous 7-2? Some Is random, seven, two? like, red elemental? Um, I'll, I'll go look for one. Well, we're waiting. Find this one. And so we're going to go nice from about, uh, we're going to go from Grizzly Bear to Spirit Token. Oh yeah. To Onaki Ogre. Oh yeah. Ooh. I think this is a cape. It's very oh, cool. draw dependent. Yeah, but we've got four lands and we've got this on three. Yeah, that's not bad. We can turn this into a treasure if we need to. Yeah, I'm into it. It's kind of what we signed up for with the curve that we've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we go Grizzly Bears into... 3-2. Into Spirit Token. Spirit Token. 4-2. Into Onaki Ogre. Onaki Ogre, yep. 5 2. Ooh, what's a 5 2? 5 2. There is definitely a vanilla 5 2. But... So 5 oh. 2s. For... Oh, okay. There's, there's. In terms of vanilla 5 2s, we've got a Hulking Devil. Um, and that's it for vanilla 5 2s. Oh, okay. Are there any five twos in there I should recognize? Uh, that's a good card. I mean, Scuzzback Ooh. Marauders. Nice. Oh, I know that one. That was from Shadow Moor, wasn't it? Oh, here's a, here's one that we should know. Blitzleech. Oh, Blitzleech. Give me that Blitzleech. Um, Blitz Blitzleech. Gonna go Forest Island. Forest on the board. And then from Blitzleech, we'll find <coughs> ourselves looking a bit like. 6 2. Um, there are definitely 6 2s. Is, is there a 6 2 worm? Um, no. There's a vanilla 6 2 for 5 artifact creature called Glass Golem. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're wandering archaic screw someone again. <laughs> and we'll never know. Yeah, we won't know. Like they they might be sitting on on the uh, the plus three plus one combat trick and just can't cast it. Good card, that one. Really good, yeah. So nice spirit. Okay, that sends the orator to the skies. Okay, so going wide. Sure. Yeah. So we are on a bit of a... Clock. 
Is it outrageous to attack here? Um, Because I don't think they're going to trade off, and then this 6-6 six six should hold down the fort. You don't think they're going to trade off? No. I think they will. I think they'll take the, the, the two for one. You think they'll trade an Orator and a Tome Shredder for this? Yeah. Because, like, be, there's I'd, the potential totally that they've okay got spells that. in hand and they just can't cast them, right? Yeah, but I'd be okay with that. Like, I was, I want to get the three flying power off the board. Okay, yeah, that's 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 fair. I guess we'll find out. The only reason this is risky is if they've got removal for the six six. Like, if they've got another, if they've got defend the campus. Ah, uh, yeah. Only for us. But I'm just wary of taking three a turn without putting on any pressure ourselves. They're getting priority. Does that mean they've got shock? Could have shock. Will we tra trade Shock and a 2 2? But they can't even cast Shock without us killing one of their guys. Oh, they can wait for till post damage. Oh, this is true. Okay. Taken four. Taken forever. Yeah. Now, yeah. 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 Yeah, I like it. I mean, we're just going to go six drop into seven drop. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty good. And then we do have Berry for the Oracle. That's too problematic. Yeah, and I, we can also, um, if we pay the full five, we can bounce the flying creature with the trigger on the stack. Which is oh, oh, that's sick. Which is kind of cool, but then they just don't attack. So No, 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 because it's an attack trigger. Oh, it's an attack trigger? Oh, okay, sweet. Then yes, that is sweet. In with the Tome Shredder. No, 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 <laughs> not in with the Tome Shredder. <laughs> not in the, I like not in with the Stone Rise Spirit, though. Which is a strange one for me. Like, they're really keen on having blockers. Yeah. Why does that have Vigilance? Oh, oh it's it vigilance just has zone. Vigilance. It has Vigilance. Okay, all right. Cram Session is actually quite nice. Um, just like swing. Yeah, I wonder if they're holding up expel. Um, that's a good point. So I think I'm just gonna play elemental masterpiece. I could cram session for. Oh, okay. Hey, hang on. Cram session into. Uh, the, expanded um, anatomy. Expanded anatomy. I don't to give it maybe? vigilance. To give that's, it, that's oh, that's and oh. Then that would explain can... why they didn't attack with the stone rise spirit. They've got expel. All right, I'm just gonna play elemental masterpiece and pass. And then we can we can go cram session anatomy. Um, hold up Barry in the books to catch out the orator next turn. How's that for a sequence? Yeah, or we cram session for fractal summoning. Just hold make Barry in books. Make a oh yeah, just make another big one. Yeah. Just accept we're gonna like we're gonna lose the six six to the expel at some point. Guiding voice. Can we have one too? Can we get one? Go on. All right. Because like the learn is the big one there, right? <laughs> it's it's less the um yeah the, the possum or some counter, but if they didn't pay and we got a learn off of that, woof. That would have been that would have been pretty sick. Yeah. Okay, that's a five mana three two. <laughs> Unless you'd like us to have one. And, and we'll take it gladly. We'll graciously accept. Gets him for three. Attacks, sure. Down to nine. All right, as long as they don't play another flyer, I think we're going to go for your play. Drop the drop the stone rise spirit back down to back down to earth. Yeah. Ooh. Carrot Wrangler is not bad. Also, oh. they can't cast um. Expel. Yeah. Yeah. So we could just turn the board sideways and use burying books offensively here. Oh yeah. 
That's true. And then we'll, we'll have cram session anyway for a little bit of a life buffer. Or if you want to play the Karak Wrangler, we can sort of like trick him that way. But then yeah, we can't bury. Yeah, I think let's attack with... Because, like, if we turn the board sideways, that's a lethal attack. They have to block something. Yeah. I think I'm just going to attack with the two four fours. You're not going to attack with the 6-6? Six, six? I'd attack with everything here if I were you. That, that would be my... No, no, no. Because I think then they can, they can just chump block the 6-6. Six, six, take 12 down to 4, and then they've got 6 power. It won't be too hard for them to find a lethal attack there. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. And I guess we oh, I need. Suppose a... we've got, I suppose we've got Berry. And we need a we need a we need a blocker for the Berry and Books plan. Yeah. No. Okay. I like it. Turning inside. We can cram session up to thirteen as well. Yeah, which is quite relevant. Well, semi-relevant. Okay, chumps the flyer away. Which is it. actually huge. Like, what the hell? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is a trick. What, what trick beats a 6-6, six -six, though? Yeah. Like... That's got to be one hell of a trick. Jeez, goes to four. Okay. So, so now I guess we cram session hold up Barry? Yeah. I think I just got fractal summoning. Actually, do we get to, like, to dodge all the tricks, do we get environmental sciences here so we can cast that and still leave up Barry? That's a fair question. Because we got, we've got enough big boys. Yeah, true. So what, like, what's the worst they could do? Like, if they go, like, just pump, pump, and then, like, we bury, and then they have the Hexproof spell in response to bury, we're going to look pretty pretty dumb. Five, six. Yeah, okay. And now we're on 15. Yeah, this feels pretty safe. Okay, what do you got? Ronan. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, it's only during your turn. Can you kill us? That's the question. What do you got? They got they got thoughts. That's what they got. Thoughts in their head. Yeah, it's big... possible we played that too careful because we do have the wandering archaic, which I don't know. If they've got just hexproof spells, that doesn't doesn't help us at all. Just in with one. Okay. I mean, do we bounce this or we just let it in? We yeah, just yeah, let it in, right? Like we don't, we don't really care. Ah, uh, I'd, I'd rather not. Rather not take three if we don't need to. Hexproof. Plus two, plus two, and hexproof. Nope, tucked. Okay. Um, doesn't get your aura to back. Can't even cast that. Okay. Alright. 
So now we just send, send in the, the clowns, and they should be dead, right? Yeah, I don't like three blockers, and our minimum power is a four power creature, so they're dead, right? Good game. Oh, okay, that's solid. Three two. We kept. Uh, yeah, we are. We are a spirit token. We are a spirit token. Oh, Naki Oge, here we come. Yeah, we're looking good. Uh, so is there a is there a seven two in Magic? There are three seven twos. Should I know any of them? You might. Um, I'll give you the sets they were released in. How's how's that sound? Okay. Okay. Um, we got one from M fifteen. We got one from okay. Eventide, and one from Khans of Takia. They're all rare or above. Okay. Uh, this is the first time we've seen Quantrix Apprentice. I'm not going to get the core set one. I twitch. Do you? Sometimes. Well, no, actually, no. I I don't stream. I just I just post to YouTube. <laughs> I don't stream. I just I just twitch randomly. <laughs> if this thing starts talking, is that Twitch chat? Uh, <laughs> ah. Oh, can we get a cultivate off the top? That'd be real nice. Oh. Flash is, flash is good. Well. Alright, now our hand's a bit slow. Right, oh, that good. did take up their entire turn too, which is not the worst. Uh, the one from Eventide, that I feel like I should get. Uh, it's in my trade binder. And oh. it has been for a, a basically as long as you've known me. Um, I may have actually taken it out recently because I don't think it's a it's a particularly hot commodity in the world of trades. Um, Thunderblast. Oh, the red card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The red card. It's like two persist. quad red. It's like the um. It's like a it's like a ball light, but not quite. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Well, once again, gonna have to find an answer for that Orator. And if this is just a removal spell, we could end up dead pretty quick. Yeah. Oof! Oof! Taking ten? And then we just die the next turn. Oh, well, not quite. But, but close. I mean, we gotta, like, find an answer off of the, the Dust Speaker, right? Oh, we don't even have any instants yeah. in the bin, do we? Oh, yeah, we don't. So do we use it to soak up five damage? Yeah. Yuck. Yeah, when this, uh... Alp Alp Bail 93 may, uh... Have us... Oh! And, um... Adrian, I'm getting those, uh... I'm getting those anti best of one vibes right now. Yeah, we're the flood out and we're dead now. Yeah. Okay. Karak Wrangler, your job is damage sponge. Or do we let it through? Miss. I think so, yeah. Okay. Well, what are we hoping to draw? Um <laughs> Heated debate. We could draw pop like pop quiz into heated debate. Pop quiz in a heated debate. Uh, minus four, minus oh. What's that one called? Arcane subtraction. That one wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. I think we've got more outs by not blocking. Okay. Here we go. I mean, we could just die to the chumps. The, the, the pump spell. Yeah. Oop. 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 Yep. And that we that's did. It. <laughs> that, that, that's it. That's all, folks. Wow. Damn, I thought this deck was sick. Yeah, I mean, that being said, the games that we lost, which were this one where we had a hand of three cards and drew land for the rest of the game, and also yeah. they sort of did some pretty explosive stuff as well. Yeah. Like, we lost to the quadruple Demogoth Titan. <laughs> yeah. Which I'll take that L. I'll, I'll gladly accept it. Yeah, yeah, that one was totally fair. 
But hey, we more greater power than toughness. We're aggressively statted. So should we have changed anything? Like possible we should have like trimmed a leyline invocation for a biomathematician just to have a little bit more early defense, because I think that was a little bit of a weakness of ours. I think we may have just lost to the variants though. I think the deck was pretty sweet. Like we we were doing yeah. like crazy things like Yeah, yeah. Copying um elemental masterpiece, dumping sixteen power on the board, all that good stuff. Also yeah. bookworm is just bookworm. Bookworm is bonkers. Book bo bunkers. Bunkers. <laughs> <laughs> Bonkworm. Bonkworm. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's a. Uh, is that is that the new nickname for tentacle porn? Bonk worm. Bonk worm. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Uh, all right. Cool. I think that'll uh, that'll do us for this week. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I thought this deck was uh, was very sweet. We did some we did some cool things for it. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Draft Punks. Uh, pick of the week is up on screen right now. This was a really close one. Ooh, do you and remember I'm, what uh, it was? It was uh, Quandrix Apprentice versus Igneous Inspiration. Oh, damn. So, uh, yeah, drop us a comment. Let us know what you would have taken there. Uh, I'd love to love to get some some viewer feedback on that one because I, I am not too confident. I guess in hindsight, we never played Quandrix Apprentice except for the time that we did in the last game and it just died. Yeah. So it's yeah, that was unfortunate. It ended up not really mattering for us because of just yeah. how it all shook out. Yeah, but still very interested to know what you guys would have picked. Yeah, exactly. Um, and we uh we didn't have any didn't have any comments on our last video. We didn't, um, which means you guys gotta get typing. <laughs> we love gotta, hearing gotta from you. And, that, uh, um, yeah, like. If you have anything to say about anything, uh, let us know. If you, yeah, we just love love hearing from you guys. And if you are, if you want to be featured in this section of our next episode, uh, we'll give you a personalized shout out. You can request the style of your shout out, how you would like to be uh, made famous. All you need to do is uh, drop us a comment. You can answer our pick of the week, or just let us know what you're thinking. Um, yeah. Or you can uh, drop us a share on social media and just shoot us an email to let us know you've done that. We are puppets um, on strings that will dance just for you. That's it. Uh, you can contact us either by email, which is up on screen, or on Twitter at DraftPunksMTG, everything separated by underscores. You can reach out to me personally. My name's Sam at calm underscore mirror. And you can find me, Adrian, at WalkerAid. And Adrian, take us home. What do they call a werewolf on YouTube? They call it a masterpiece. And a like and subscribe.